Hello again, I'm Dr. Scott Peck and I'm so glad that you're with us here for this Love Skills course and we're up to Love Skill number 19. This is a huge one. Ask a love question. This is the, the love skill that opens the door to intimacy. It is the love skill that will change your life, change your love life, change the lives of others. So what do we mean by a love, a love question? Well, right now, let's just say I don't know you and I'm just, uh, just meeting you. And we're together and uh, we're either at a social party, let's just say, or we're just at a quiet place where we're talking. I could say, well, where are you from? Or what do you do? Or what's your name again? Those are not love questions. Those are information questions. They don't get to the soul. They don't open up intimacy. But let's suppose I asked you, what are you most passionate about? That's a love question. It gets you right into soul. And you know what? 95% of the people will answer you because they know what they're passionate about, whether it's riding a bike or taking care of their kids or creating music or, or loving. Uh, so what are you most passionate about is a fabulous love question. And it's one that opens the door without you kind of scaring people by and scaring yourself by being so open. But you can go deeper, and Shannon and I do all the time, because we ask another love question. What's the most significant thing going on in your life? Sometimes we'll say, what's the best thing going on in your life? But I like what's the most significant thing going on in your life because it opens the door for them to decide what they want to talk about. Here's what's interesting. Somebody who doesn't want a lot of intimacy might say, well, you know, uh, my work is being here serving you at this restaurant this is the best thing going on in my life i love working here well that's not too intimate or i got a new uh i got a new cd yesterday i really love or yesterday was my sister's birthday but some people when you ask the question what's the most significant thing going on in your life will look at you like they're scanning your soul to see if you're authentic and they will answer you from their heart and they'll say you know I'm, I'm just going through a divorce and it's difficult or my boyfriend just left me and I'm trying to figure out what what to do or they might say I'm I'm grad I'm going back to school in a month and you can say well that's fabulous what are you studying so all of these are roads to intimacy it doesn't matter what the answer is if they answer a shallow answer wonderful you love them if they give you a, a sad answer wonderful you comfort them if they give them a happy soulful answer wonderful you rejoice with them this is the power of a love question you can't lose the only thing that you can fail in is if you don't open up your heart enough to ask a love question so what would stop your heart from being open enough to do this well frankly I'll be honest with you I think it's ego either you're too timid, which is ego, uh, or you think, oh, I don't want to be rejected, or I'm afraid of what might happen, or I don't want to expose myself. Well, this is all about you and your concerns or feelings, and that's okay. Those are legitimate, but get into the spirit of letting love flow through you. Remember our first love skill, move into love alignment. Well, if love is flowing through you, let love ask the question, because love wants to love the person in front of you, through you. So, what are you most passionate about? Is a question from love flowing through me to you. And if you ask me, well, Scotty, what are you most passionate about? Then love is flowing back through you to me. By the way, what is the most significant thing going on in your life? See how simple it is to slide in a love question that has amazing power to create intimacy and if, if your heart is open and you can answer wonderful if it isn't love is going to still love you there's no you can't fail at this as a love master that's the beauty if you just can't fail another love question that I ask all the time of Shannon and my friends even my my business partner and colleagues I will say what are you thinking about right now now that's a very soft-hearted question because it's not digging in like uh, the heart level so much just what are you thinking about but it's amazing my partner 
oftentimes Bob will say, I've been thinking about my kids. And it's usually something that I would never have known he was thinking about. When I ask my wife, what are you thinking about, Shannon? It's usually a surprise. Now, a, a higher, more soulful question than what are you thinking about, but there's nothing wrong with that, is what's going on in your heart right now? And it's people's hearts are changing all the time. So I can ask Shannon, my fabulous wife, 20 times a day, sweetie, what's going on in your heart right now? And I'll get a different answer. But no matter what the answer is, she is going to feel loved. So these love questions are just phenomenal. And I'm going to just be honest with you. Some people just understand the power of this and they get right in there, do it because they understand that love is expressing them. So their ego is gone. And it works. A hundred percent of the time. <laughs> because even if somebody doesn't respond or doesn't like you doing it, so what? Love still loves them. But for many people, asking a love question, they're timid about and because they maybe only try it once, you don't get good at it. It's like if you want to be a baseball player or a football player or a great dancer, well, you got to practice. So I'll guarantee you, if you ask any love question, like 10 times this week, just practice it on people who you like already and that are comfortable with you. Get practiced at these questions coming out of your mouth, out of your heart, because they are powerful. So. Do you really want intimacy? This is a real big question, isn't it? Remember our previous love skill? Decide to create intimacy? So what's your decision? And if your decision is yes, this is the way that it will happen. And you, the biggest winner, is going to be you because you're going to see the amazing love resonance that takes place. Going out on a first date? What's the most significant thing going out in your life? What are you most passionate about? Fabulous questions. Just as fabulous to ask if you've been married for 20 years to your partner. Or they're just as good to ask your children, a friend, or your colleagues. So have fun with this. Ask a love question and move into fabulous intimacy. Thanks for being with me. Oh, by the way, what's going on in your heart right now?